deprivation. I deprive myself of chips all the time. Ooh, <laughs> wow, he's making some good moves. <laughs> anyway, so no, that had nothing to do with it. So I deprive my chip, my chips. I deprive myself of chips all the time. Why? To make the chips so much more valuable, right? Ha ha ha. So if you deprive me of, I don't know, skiing, I might be more likely to work hard to go skiing in the future. Right? Um, so if you withhold or prevent, uh, withhold reinforcers from me for something, if you prevent me from engaging in particular behaviors, you're depriving me of something. And if you go look at the video on response deprivation hypothesis, you'll see what happens when you deprive someone of a response. Or if you withhold reinforcers, you'll see what happens when you deprive them of those reinforcers. Um, based on your experiences, you might change the value of those reinforcers. And you get to do the motivation thing. So you can deprive stuff to create motivation. There's all sorts of cool things that you can do with deprivation. But it's really about just depriving you of a particular stimulus. Don't worry. We don't deprive the children of food all the time. You don't need to in order to make food reinforcing. So anyway, deprivation. It's a lot of fun. Uh, don't overdo it with deprivation. You can really hurt people. But you can motivate them too.